Hey, it's Nick Bag TV. What up, man? It's your boy, Mr. Nick Bag TV, aka Blogaholic. Back in the building, back in the mix. About to get into this. Styles P says he will retire from rap after two more albums. So he's gonna bless us with two more albums. Then he out of here, man. The ghost is ghost. What y'all think about that, man? Me personally, I'm gonna say this. Styles P. He retired from my playlist 20 years ago. I, <laughs> it ain't 20 years ago, dog. I was done with this cat, man. He was in the trash bin after 20 years, dog. Like, come on now. This is crazy, man. He's going to retire after two more albums. Why would you even, like, release that to say? Like, who who cares? That's, and when you say who cares, it's like somebody cares, but I'm tell you. When I say who cares, I mean I don't care. I really don't. I want to talk about it because it's funny, man. Because Styles P to me, he he wouldn't. I mean, he he would be he would be irrelevant to all of us if it wasn't for Jadakiss. Let's just be a hundred. If it wasn't for Jadakiss, who we wouldn't know about a Styles P. The locks without Jadakiss is the Sporty Thieves. Let's be honest about that. You know who the Sporty Thieves are. They came out with the song. Um, no pigeons. It was the rebuttal to TLC's No Scrubs. They came out with the classic line, how you gonna wear sandals with your nasty corns. Like, that was a classic line back in the day. I used to say that to these chicks out here. Like, how you gonna wear sandals with your nasty corns? That ain't my bands. That ain't your hair. <laughs> Them guys were funny. But yeah, the locks is pretty much the sporty thieves. If the locks did not have Jadakiss, man. I mean, Styles O's. A whole career to Jadakiss, if you ask me. To, to be honest with you, man, if you're listening to Styles without a Jadakiss feature, you got a mental illness. <laughs> you got a hip-hop mental illness. Like, something wrong with you, bro. You need to get that checked out. Go holler at the doctor. Get that all cleared up, man. For real. Get back on track. But, yeah, man, Styles P retiring is it, it, just funny to me, dude. Like, this dude, to me, was always one song. Like, I Get High. That was his claim to fame to me. And to be honest with you, I Get High was more because of the beat. The beats did it, the hooks did it, not your lyrics, nigga. <laughs> your gangsta look did it. <laughs> Shout out to Jay-Z. But yeah, man, I mean, Styles P retiring is just funny. It's like, dude, okay, go ahead. Don't you got a juice bar or something? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> go, 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 go um, do that, man. Do something else, man. Like, for real, man, rap ain't for you, man. It ain't, it ain't for you. Right now, man, like Styles P retiring is just so funny to me for him to announce it and then to announce it attached with after two more albums. Like, like that's telling people, got two more after that, I'm out of here. Like, okay, why, why two more? Why just don't leave now? Like, how can you retire from rap? I don't understand how rappers always have to announce their retirement knowing that can you retire from making words rhyme? It's like if you're an artist, if you, if you do you know, um, artistry and things like that, do you ever retire? You're always going to, you know, do your artist work. I mean, even if you wasn't a full-time rapper, you probably, if you enjoy rapping, that's something you can always do. You can always make rhymes, you can always make poetry, you can always do things like that. So, who knows, man? I predict Styles P will come out with a children's book in like five years <laughs> called The Ghost, and he's going to be like a hip-hop ghost in the hood, um, you know, helping people, uh, stay out of trouble. <laughs> Who knows? Are well, you going to be a ghost? Some people write rhymes or whatever the case may be. But Styles P was always, to me, one of the most overrated rappers in the history of hip-hop, man. I remember Benny Siegel had a diss to Jadakiss, and he kind of uh, went as far as saying Styles P writes Jadakiss rhymes. A lot of people ran with that. Always looked at them like, man, shut up, dude. Get out of my face with that crap, man. There's no way Styles is right dead to kiss raps. If that's the case, why J why Styles not hot as Jada Kiss? Why would he give him all the heat and keep the cold? What's that about? What is he, a North Face? <laughs> but yeah, at the end of the day, man, Styles P retiring. Uh, what y'all think about that, man? Like, like are, are y'all, you know, upset about it or what? It, or what's the case? But let's get back to the um, I Get High beat, man. That's like one of those beats. Like I said, that anybody could have really been kind of hot on. Anybody could have been, you know, uh, could have had their moment in hip hop on a beat like that. There's a lot of beats like that in hip hop. And I want to, if you're listening for the one person that watched my videos, tell me another beat in hip hop that um 
anybody could have been hot on. Like, I get high is one of those. Uh, this is why I'm hot. That's definitely one of those. Like, anybody could have had this is why I'm hot and been pretty much a popular person at that time and done something within the range of the hotness or the 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 um sustainability of that track and, and did something with that. Like, anybody could have had that track and been pretty much good. I could have had that trap and track and pretty much made a hit record. Like, that's just what it is. And I Get High is just one of those um, songs that did that in that time. And I think that's a good reason, or one of the main reasons why Styles P has um, stayed relevant. Not, not only that, is because he was attached to Jada Kiss. Not only that, because he had some type of history with Bad Boy. So, Jada, so Styles P, to me, he's just been one of those lucky guys in hip-hop that was always attached to Greatness, Biggie, Jada, um, I Get High, B, stuff like that. So that kind of Rough Riders, DMX, like he had a lot of good attachments that carried him along the way. But um, him retiring, I don't think a lot of people going to miss it. I don't think it's a, that big of a deal. It is what it is. What y'all think? It's your boy.